Low welfare with the... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's three Antillian iguanas again, so we need to get rid of the... Uh, let's see. Let's go select the actual enclosure. Look at the animals. And, yeah, let's get rid of Pedro. He's getting old. So let's definitely... Uh, let's, let's get rid of him. Send him to the trade center. I don't know if I could actually... Uh, like, trade him or anything like that, or if he's too old or whatever. But let's go to tr animal trading now. Animal storage. Uh... Is he at the trade center already? I thought he was like instantly at the trade center. Hold on, let me check. Yeah, he should be. Because there's only Francisca and Margarita or whatever her name was. Uh, yeah, Margarita. Wait, what in the world? Oh, there's two females in there. Okay, so well, well they can't breed, so I have to get rid of. I'll, I'll probably get rid of Francisca and get another uh, male so I can breed with Mar Margarita there, so. Uh, or I guess I could just keep two females in there for right now. <laughs> That'd probably be fine. But, uh, let's go to animal storage. Where in the world did Pedro go? I guess he hasn't made it to animal storage just yet. I thought he went there instantly. Huh. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe I'll find out here in just a moment. <laughs> but uh, we definitely do need to place down some of the torches, too. So let's go to uh, lights and arctic lamppost. So definitely want to place these down over here because it is pretty heckin' dark. So place these down. And definitely want to place them over here in the pathway in general, you know? So right now, though, I think I'm going to be placing them between all the benches. So and it's not going to be even. It's not going to be perfect, but... At least they'll uh, provide some lighting. And I think that should cover everything. We've got security, we've got donation bins, we've got education, we've got uh, trash, we've got uh, benches for people to sit on. I think we should have this area pretty well uh, set, you guys. I don't think we really need to worry about uh, much of anything at all. So, oh, maybe another uh, torch thing right there. That's good. And I think we're fine. Very right, nice. Maybe I'll put some torches up here. Uh, oh god, look at how crowded it is up here. Yeah. Because you get such a great view of the animals from up here. I am not surprised whatsoever that this area is crowded. Yeah, look at that. You can see, well, there's they're hiding under the... Oh, man, yeah, they probably want hard uh, shelter and stuff. Uh, no, they're fine. 100% hard shelter right now. Really good terrain. Yeah, they don't really care. I, I can give them trees and stuff, but I, I can't... I shouldn't give them too much. Because it, uh, it, like, maxes out at, like, what? Like, 15, 20% or whatever that is right there, so... They're fine with the open plains right now that they have, so... I don't have to worry about giving them trees. So, don't need to worry about that. But we do have an area over here that's being heated up. And getting rid of the snow, and the, of course... Yep, look at that, that's like right on the line right there. So maybe I'll, uh... Just because it's probably... Well, if it does snow... I don't think we really need to worry about that, but, uh... I'll move that over just a little bit, and then, of course, increase that maybe, like, 16 or 17 right there. So hopefully it has a little bit more... Oh, oh, oh! The game cry knew that was gonna happen! I knew that was gonna- I should have saved. I, I know I need to do manual saves more often, and I've been doing that every now and then, but we went like an hour and 15, 18 minutes there without a heckin' game crash, but it ended up happening right there. You gotta be kidding me. Golly. All right, well, we're back. Let's see uh, how much progress we lost right there. Yeah, man, I hope it's not too much. If it is, then I guess I'll have to pause and do the off-camera stuff that we literally just did on camera. <laughs> but let, let's see where we are. Hopefully the whole entire bison areas. Uh, we have the bronze star. What is this at? Is this... Um, okay, well the bison area... Oh man, we don't have the benches? We have the security. Do we have the uh, fourth bison yet? Did I take these guys to... Uh, whatever it's called yet? Uh, quarantine? I don't know. Kind of want to take them to quarantine real quick though, just in case. Oh wait, no, yeah, we have the fourth bison. Yeah, it just passed quarantine now it's ready to go out. So that's good, so I guess I can select you and move you back to the, uh, over here, although you're about to contract, like, foot and mouth disease, so... <laughs> don't want that to happen, but I need to rename that. yeah, I need to rename this bison again. Man! Well, we lost some, some progress, placing down the benches, the trash cans, the lights, and all that kind of stuff, and it looks like I just placed down the heater there or something, because that thing is barely even, uh, melting the snow there, you guys. So I guess right now, I'll take this opportunity to move this over, like, to here, and then set it to, like... I don't know, 16, 17 or whatever that I just did a moment ago. So there we go. Hopefully that'll uh, make these guys fine. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to pause the recording and uh, do all that progress again. Place down the benches, place down the torches, all that kind of stuff. Uh, are they... Uh... Oh, oh, it's crashing again! It crashed again! It only lasted like a minute that time. What? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the game, you guys. I don't know why it crashes so often. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to pause the recording. And, uh, try and do all that progress again, and I'll see you guys here in a bit, and hopefully, uh, we'll continue with the bison, and then when we come back, we'll work on the arctic walls, make an enclosure for them, and of course get the two arctic walls that we got, put them inside there, and maybe even buy some more of them, 
maybe they're going to be fine with just two of them. I don't know. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't want to get too many of them or anything like that, but uh, having just two of them, that should be fine because we had two uh, Timberwolves beforehand in a previous scenario, and they did just fine on their own. And then, of course, they, they're going to breed and have a, uh, a third Arctic Wolf, so... I think it's just going to be fine with just the two of them. We'll, we'll see here in just a bit, though. So, like I said, go to pause the recording, redo like 10, 15 minutes of progress or whatever, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I placed down all the benches and, and the whatever else that I was doing <laughs> when we last stepped off before it, like, crashed and all that kind of stuff. And I even got a comment from one of you guys saying, hey, why don't you, like, copy and paste? the like displays or whatever education board displays they have like the decoration all that kind of stuff and have the speaker and stuff as well once i put them over here and that's what i did over here so that's pretty cool i just placed these down by the way and it's, it's currently paused that's why they're not lit up uh oh god is it is it going cr oh oh okay we're back <laughs> Okay, nothing bad happened right there. That's good. But yeah, it, the game was paused whenever I was placing those down, so they weren't lit up right there. But now it's unpaused. I mainly paused it because you guys might see over here we have 10 alerts. Animal alerts. Puff Hatter. Multiple animals have low welfare, and I believe that's because we have so many heckin' creatures inside there. Yeah, look at the social group right there. Not doing too well. Because I think they, uh, you know, had offspring, and there are like 10 of them in here now. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the snakes. Jeez. Let's go over here. Let's click on this. Let's go to the Zoopedia for these guys. Let's figure out what the number is. One to five for the group ratio. So, yeah. I did this once off camera, by the way. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I, I assigned the mechanics to start research researching the food shop's power and drink shops. So we should have more of those here in a bit. Let's go over here to animals. Oh, and by the way, uh, remember we put one of the iguanas up in trading. I didn't know where it went. It was an exhibit trading. I kept going to animal trading, and I was like, oh man, it's not an animal storage. But it was, it was an exhibit storage over here. That's why I had to go over there. And I, I let it loose. I was able to get either $900 or seven conservation credits, and uh, I decided to go for the cons conservation credits. And now we have 666 right there. A very spooky number. But uh, now we have enough iguanas in there to where it's not going to, like, you know, set off any alarms or anything like that. Same thing happened, by the way, with the Gila monsters. We had, like, five of them in there. Uh, I think they can go all the way up to four and I got rid of one of them and uh, it seems like they're fine right now But let's check them on the snakes like I said, so let's go over here. What was it five? Yeah five and uh, let's see which ones we're going to have to start getting rid of so that's the puff adder So if the scroll all the way oh wait, uh, yeah, I already passed it. Whoops <laughs> Which ones are we going to get rid of though the old or yeah the oldest or the youngest though? Hmm, I'm like the oldest ones actually everyone here is like about the same on their clock right there, even though they're all in various age ranges. So perhaps we can get rid of the youngest, and that would be fine. So leave the five oldest, so that would be all these, right? Yeah. Get rid of all those. Maybe even get rid of a... Uh... There we go. It didn't say anything about, like, male or female ratio or anything like that, so we could leave two females, two males, and that'd be fine. That way, you know, if they have another offspring or anything like that, there's still room for one more before, it, like, anything bad happens. But for right now, we can release to wild. And get 27 conservation credits, except for a Tika, which I cannot get any conservation credits from. Probably because I have to actually, you know, trade it instead of uh, releasing it. But there we go, got rid of you! And we're up to $93,000 in the bank, by the way, so that's awesome. But a Tika, the Puff Adder. Let's see what I have to do with you. Yeah, send a trade. Yeah, adopt it right there. So send a trade center right there. Send you your trade center, and you're going to uh, end up in exhibit trading. And now we could quick trade for $363. And boom, now you're gone. Very nice. Let's unpause now, and we have one, two, three. Is that a fourth right there? Yeah, one of the snakes is actually in that, like, crevice right there. Look at that. So, yeah, we only have four snakes in here now, which is good. So it's not going to be too populated. By the way, we did get the Puff Adder, uh, like, enrichment level three now. So we have the heat lamps in there. So look at that. That's cool that we just added all those. That's awesome. And also, uh, another thing I did with the bison area over here is I, I tried doing this before it crashed. But move the, uh, the heater thing into, like, the center here and expand it out to 18 on the range right there, so that's awesome. So if we click on one of the bison, we should have, or is it at uh, terrain? Yeah, we should be uh, pretty good on snow right there, so that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I've got a lot of like torches over there, and oh yeah, by the way, I also placed down a, uh, a transformer over here, so now we can apply power to the uh, education boards and speakers that were over here, so that's good. And uh, it should be anywhere near any guests, so I put it over here. That way it applies power over here and doesn't have any negative impact on any guests or anything like that. So this is probably going to be another staff area here in the future if I need one. Uh, but for right now, it's just going to be housing that transformer. That's going to be uh, applying power over here, so that's going to be great. All right. 
And uh, oh yeah, and then up here, I didn't I didn't bother changing the uh, the education boards up here to the to the decorated things. Maybe I, oh, what happened? Breed three new habitat animals of different speed. Oh, that must have happened uh, without me even realizing it. I assume habitat animals, you know, excludes exhibits. So that would mean I guess the bison, the reindeer, and the doll sheep all breeded. Oh yeah, and by the way, I fixed the uh, the the ratio thing that we had over here. Apparently, I had. Oh wait, what? Uh. We have one alert going on right now, though. I don't know what it is. But I did fix the, uh, the ratio. We Oh, wait, oh, I guess we have, yeah, we have too many males now, I guess, huh? But I think the males are, uh, like babies. But, you know, we can only have one adult male. And, uh, like, up to what? 11 or 12 or so females? Adults? So, th we had two adult males, and they were fighting over, uh, alpha status and all that kind of stuff. Finally got rid of that, so that's good. Uh, staff for queuing... Oh, that must be out of power again. Are you kidding me? How do we have three mechanics and this thing is... Is it broken? Oh, I guess not. Okay, we legitimately just have one uh, mechanic workshop over here. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're starting to queue over there. So, yeah, uh, let's get another uh, workshop somewhere. Especially because we are using three mechanics now to start researching things. So, let's definitely put another mechanic workshop over here. I don't know why I went over there to do that. Staff facilities. Let's go to mechanic workshop. There it is right there. And let's get the Arctic workshop. There you go. Now, where are we going to slip this in? It's actually uh, kind of deep right there, so I can't really slip it in on the side. So, actually, I could slip it in right here, and some of it's actually sticking outside the uh, the park. I guess that doesn't really matter too much, huh? Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. It's starting to yell at me now. Oh, not anymore. Uh, oh, it's obstructed now. Okay, well, I guess I can't place it outside like that then. <laughs> All right, well, I guess uh, maybe I could do the same thing I did with the uh, staff center and put, them, put it, like, right here, especially because it is super long. So I can't really place it on the outside or on the sides or anything like that, but if I put it right there, is that going to be negatively affecting any guests? I uh, might want to slip that back a little bit. So let's move this back like this. And about right there is good. All right, nice. And let's make sure we confirm that. So it, there you go. All right, good. Well, there you go. So we have another staff center over there. Is that going to accommodate one? Uh, okay, one mechanic right there. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to... Uh, Make a third somewhere. Maybe I'll put it over here. Maybe I'll put it over here. Because we do have this one spot right here that I was unable to actually use for anything for some strange reason. <laughs> Maybe I can move this physically upwards ever so slightly like so. There you go. And uh, I'm going to need to build another path there, unfortunately. But uh, I'll do this. There you go. Place it up like that with that ramp. Maybe we can actually place the, uh, the secondary workshop here. So let's actually grab the naked shell for the workshop. Make sure it's placed like this, and there we go. Okay, we finally got the workshop there. That's good. So it seems like all I had to do was just raise that ever so slightly in the air for some strange reason, because it actually looks relatively flat for me. So I don't know what was actually in the way right there, but we fixed it, so that's good. Anyways, let's go over to construction. Go to, oh yeah, look at that mechanic going inside of there, so that's good. Let's go to workshop, or work. Wait, where is it at? Blueprints? Uh, where's the logo? What was this thing called? Hold on, let me see. Edit group mode, what's this thing called? It, yeah, it's called Workshop Facility Sign, so let me duplicate that. Stop editing the group. And place this right here, just for uh, aesthetics and, you know, getting a quick glance, I'll be able to know, okay, that's the workshop building right there, so that's good. All right, and uh, let's finally fix this habitat over here, or, you know, habitat barrier. Make sure we get this thing fixed, because it looks it's looking really, really weird, so there you go. <laughs> finally got that fixed, so that's good. And it's not even clipping in there, so that's good. Uh, let's check up on this, though. It's at 47% uh, scenery rating. We could add some more trees and stuff like that around there, and we should be fine. I am also curious to... Oh, yeah. Did we ever place bedding? Yeah, we never placed beddings over here, did we? Yeah. So we should definitely place them, especially because they're assuming that this is hard shelter. So maybe we could put that... Uh, maybe we put some bedding, like, both in the hard shelter area, as well as out in the open. That's definitely something we could do. Uh, so let's grab bedding large. Is that good for these guys? Yeah, large is definitely something for these guys. Look at that, we've got a baby right there. Nice. So that's awesome. Uh, maybe I'll put another bedding like right there. And uh, yeah, we have three adults, don't we? So one, two. I guess I could just scatter them randomly. There you go. Three. I get a third. There you go. Except for having the queue to use another facility. Let's get a medium here for the babies. Oh, God. Whoops, that just floated right there. <laughs> But uh, let's get some mediums here. That way, uh, even the babies can get a little bit of shelter. But where are the uh, staff starting to queue at? Oh, they're still queuing at the work. What? We have three workshops. What are you doing? Go to the other one. Uh, we have a workshop. Is there a guy inside of here? 
There is. What is this guy doing? Hopefully there's nothing that needs to be like repaired or anything like that, but we do have vet research. And it's for the heal monster. Okay, that's good. Uh, probably going to wait until it's actually fully researched until we're able to get the uh, the full layer three or uh, enrichment level three or whatever it's called. So that'll uh, that'll take a little while. But I think these are the two last remaining reindeer that we got gifted to us, you guys. Maybe. <laughs> so we have to basically just wait until they die. And uh, I kind of want to just move this guy because he is. Oh, I can't actually move him. What? Uh, I don't know why you're queuing. You should definitely go to this other heckin' workshop all the way over here, golly. This is why we need to set up a uh, work zone, you guys. That way, uh, they're smart enough to know, hey, there's another heckin' workshop over here. <laughs> yeah, it's inefficient because there's no one over here. 100% uh, scenery rating, though, so that's awesome. So, uh, hopefully that's gonna make them a little bit more efficient and stuff like that. If they actually use it. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, hopefully after these two perish, we'll be able to actually release any extra reindeer that we have over here rather than have to literally wait for them to die. I still don't know what's going on with the doll sheep, though. I don't know if uh, if we have to wait to get rid of them. I guess we can check. Is that one of the originals? I assume maybe. The park is 13 years old. This one's only 11, so I assume it's not one of the originals. I assume uh, the originals might have died by now or something like that. I don't know. I do want to get a good close-up look at that bison, the baby over here. Let me see. Oh, there he is. Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing! Oh my god, that thing looks so wicked cute! Oh man, right next to the adult right there too. Jeez! Do we have any other babies? So we have one, two, we have, I, I think this is the only baby in here. Wait, no, this must be like a juvenile or something like that. Or, uh, no, that's just a small one. Yeah, I remember Zadie, I was talking about, oh man, look at how small Zadie is. Uh, well, who's this then? Tenbull? I don't remember. You. Maybe you're one of the... Hold on, let's see. Zadie. Jackson. Wait, what? Do we have two Zadies? Do we? I guess we have two Zadies, and I didn't even realize that we have two bison of the same name. This one's 14 years old. This one's 10 years old. I have no idea what's going on with that. Uh, I guess I never know. we have uh, two of the same name bison. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, mechanic research for food shop. So that's good. So we can get another food shop. Uh, they're still queuing over here. I have no idea why, but uh, whatever. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get you. Who are you? Which one are you? You're Gertrude Vo. Perhaps I'll make you stop researching things. So, what are you researching? You're researching the drink shops. Yeah, I don't want you to stop. I don't want the drink shops to stop being uh, researched. So I'm going to let Kenny be researching that, and you're going to stop research stuff in general and uh, go heck and check up on the park and make sure nothing bad happens. Golly, yeah, it's probably a bad idea in general to have uh, all mechanics doing research and stuff. Because uh, whenever mechanics aren't doing anything, they're researching. So definitely want to have one at least out in the open, just kind of checking up on things. Make sure there's nothing broken or anything like that, right? <laughs> but uh, speaking of broken, how's the uh, barrier status over here needs to be uh, repaired? It's at 58% right now, so that's good. I'm glad that I made that Gertrude guy come out. And, uh, yeah, look at that. He's starting to run over there, and that's good. 71% right there, 69% right there, so that's good. All right, well, let's go make sure... We st Oh, and by the way, you guys might have noticed I started extending out the heating uh, heaters here on the path. So that's good. Uh, I have it going all the way out to here. I wanted to connect it up all the way over to here and start making a circle around the main like Christmas tree thing going on there. It's going to be a little bit harder uh, going around this like curve right here though, just because uh, currently this is just a straight line. So I have to just copy paste. It's going to be pretty easy from there on, but going around like curves and stuff like that, it's going to be a little bit of an extra challenge. So uh, what, what else do we have here? Oh, event research, that's good. As for the American Bison, we have a uh, level two research on them. Let's actually check what that occurs. Uh, Zupedia, I guess we have to go to Zupedia and check it, right? Where is it at? Uh, so we have herbivore pellets. We have Skittle, Large Ball, and Grab Ball. So we already had those from earlier, so nothing new there. Paint and Grazer Feeder, I think we already had those. We have two things that are locked right there. So we can give them a little bit better food right now if we wanted to. And how much would that actually cost? Because I haven't really done that. I don't think I've done that for any creatures here. $1,400 per feed. We give them grade two food for $1,596. So hey, might as well give them a little bit better food. Especially because we're doing really well on money, over $100,000 in the bank now, so... Hey, might as well treat our, uh... Oh, yeah, especially the reindeer. Let's give them a level 2, uh, food. You know what? You know what? Level 3. Level 3 grade food. I wonder if that's actually... I never really looked into that. I, I don't remember if uh, it told us. $232 for the heckin' sheep? Yeah, give them a grade 3 food. Golly. And, uh, I don't know if we could do the same thing for the creatures in the exhibits. Oh, look at that. Two heal monsters just out in the open right there. That's good. I don't know if we could actually customize their food. And if we can't... Oh! Uh, alert. What is this alert? Oh, one of them is expecting offspring, so we should definitely clear the way for another one. So perhaps uh, we can get rid of the oldest heal monster. 
in anticipation for a baby. So, which one would be the oldest? Uh, the one that's actually pregnant is the oldest. Okay. <laughs> well, I I'd hate to, to do any separation, you know, but maybe the second oldest? Which, in that case, it's these two males right here. And they're, uh, I assume twins or something like that. Because they're 3.6 years old, males. I don't know what to do with that. Maybe I'll get rid of the youngest? I don't know. Ugh. And it's, I don't know what to do in that regard, but you just heard uh, one of the keeper guys, or gals, or whatever, uh, squeak it on the heckin' window right there, cleaning it, so that's good that they're uh, keeping that nice, fresh, and clean and whatnot, so that's awesome. Kind of thinking about uh, making a second habitat gator or, or something over here, just because it's a little bit closer to the staff facilities and the uh, keeper shop right there. That way they don't have to go all the way over here to use the gate and feed their food, so maybe I'll do that over here, you guys. Kind of thinking about that. Where would I do it, though? Maybe I'll do it, like, right here. I kind of want to do that just because it will be a little bit easier for filling up their food and stuff like that. So let's definitely uh, modify this barrier, edit barrier. Let's get rid of this one specifically. Place down a habitat gate here. Just completely customized in that specific location. So right there. Might even move their, uh... Oh, whoops, don't want to do any habitat stuff right there. Uh, might want to move their food a little bit over, a little, maybe, like, right here. Uh, yeah, there you go. That way it's not too, like, in the way of the gate or anything like that. Now let's edit the barrier. Edit this to be 10 feet tall. And it's going to be in line with the red... Oh, 10.02 and 10.01. I don't know why that's like that, but... Steel mesh now. Change this over to steel mesh as well. Once we uh, got them connected, so there you go. And it's actually, uh... Select all of these. Change it over to steel mesh. And there's one corner right there. Oh, wait, no. That's the, uh, the education board. So yeah, that's all steel mesh now, so that's good. And now the keepers can go from the keeper hut right here immediately into the bison area from this entrance and fill up that feeder, so that's good. All right, glad I did that. Uh, same thing applies over here with the reindeer. I'm like, it, it, I already built their habitat thing like really close to the uh, staff area right there. The anything, the door for the doll sheep is a little bit far away. Maybe I'll move it over to here. Habitats have become merged and invalid. Remove excess habitat. What? Fix multiple habitat. Oh, can I not have multiple habitat gates? If that's the case, I'll probably just get rid of this one and call that one the main gate over there. Just because, like I said, it's, it's a little bit closer to keeper huts and stuff, you know? So maybe I'll do that. I did not know that was a thing. I guess, uh, is there a reason why? Oh, God! There are incorrectly placed buildings? Wait, what? Multiple incorrectly placed educational items in the park. What? How is there multiple in... Is it because of the bison or something? Uh, there are clearly bison. Maybe, maybe the habitat gate phenomenon. <laughs> maybe that's interfering with the uh, the education boards for some strange reason. Let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of that, and uh, let's get rid of that one as well. And then we'll uh, fix this. But we need to get rid of this path right there too. So that's good. And let's try and fix this barrier now. And there you go. Got that nice and connected. Okay, so that's good. So we have that connected now. Let's unpause. Is it still? Yeah. Oh, oh, one of the bison just got boxed up. And, uh, oh, important alerts need, uh, attention. We'll worry about that here in just a moment. Okay, nothing bad. Okay, so I guess it was just because it got boxed up right there. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. I don't know why it's, uh, why it's like that. It never really taught me, hey, you can't have multiple habitat gates. Thought it, yeah, I'm like, it makes sense. Like, you guys know it makes sense having multiple gates. But I guess having multiple gates means it's, it's technically two habitats. Because you can only have one habitat per gate, I guess. So that's kind of weird. You know, it'd be nice to have multiple uh, gates just for easier access from either direction, depending on where uh, the nearest keeper is, you know? But uh, I guess, yeah, once again, work zones will uh, help out in that regard, huh? So definitely want to set up work zones here, especially because the park is getting ever so much bigger. Uh, but for right now, this is actually looking really nice at nighttime, you guys. I'm really liking it, especially all the Christmas lights, the, the baubles and all that kind of stuff here. Really, really cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Do we have new research for mechanic? Oh, Pedro has a uh, low welfare, I bet. We have an extra offspring in here, right? Let's check him on the, uh, the thing. We have two male, or uh, one male, two females. Is it... Uh, let's, let's go back to their Zoopedia. Is it one male, one female, the maximum? Group size, one to two, yes. Okay, so let's figure out which one we're going to get rid of. In terms of, uh, oh god, high demand, high demand, high demand. Okay, yeah, definitely want more uh, drink, food and drink shops here, you guys. Oh, by the way, off camera. I did level everyone up. Uh, everyone is three stars now, and except for anyone that might have been one star before, and they're two stars now, but should be three stars now. So everyone in the park is going to be nice and trained, 
and uh, hopefully going to be pretty efficient. I don't want to get too much more training than that. Of course, you know, the, the sustainability of that might not be the best. Of course, I'm going to, have to start raising prices and whatnot to, to help out paying the staff with their higher wages and whatnot, right? So definitely want to kind of hold off on that until we're... Even though we have $100,000 in the bank, we could definitely afford to pay our staff even better, give them better training and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I do want to keep that money until we're able to buy, you know, more heck creatures and whatnot, right? <laughs> Doing really well in conservation credits, so almost 800, so that's awesome. Uh, anyways, let's go back to, what was it, Antillian Iguanas? Yeah, and, and which one are we going to get rid of? Probably the, I'd hate to get rid of the baby, you guys. But we might have to. Can I even do that? Is it too, oh, I guess I can, oh my gosh. Release to wild. Man, that's a, conservation status though is four and a half stars, so that's good. Lifespan remaining, I believe it's fresh birth, I assume. Fertility gene, four and uh, sliver stars right there. Seven conservation credits right there, you guys, nice. Alright, nice, that's great. Let's see what we have here. Vet research. And the Gila monster is full. So now we have a, uh, a staff member over here. I can research something. I guess we don't have any active diseases, which is good. Classic, classic swine. I'm kind of hesitant to just randomly start researching a disease. I'm like, uh, oh, foot and mouth disease right there. Yeah, it, I guess, if anything, we could always read about like what diseases the bison are susceptible to, the reindeer are susceptible to. Uh, I guess the bison are susceptible to foot and mouth disease, right? And I do, I, I did, by the way, I did read you guys comments about me not heckin' sending the bison to quarantine. I know, I feel heckin' dumb about that. <laughs> so, oh, another animal died. Freha, the 20, 20? That's actually super, I don't think I've seen any of them hit tw Oh my god, we have a baby in here now. I'm, I'm gonna move you to the, uh, to the main area. You, you don't need to be near that. You, you, you shouldn't be near a, a dead... I assume parent like that. So let's move you out as fast as we can, and hopefully, uh, let's get a vet to take care of you too. But I, I do want to see. Let's check the Zoopedia for the reindeer. What is their max lifespan? Because 20 years—that's that's rather high, if you ask me. Or would that be species data? I assume. Uh, like 17 years for both male and female. Wow, Freya, really lived a long life. Like, was it for humans, like, 80 years old or something like that, and there's people that make it to 100, and that's very, very, like, commendable and whatnot? That was a very com This reindeer basically made it to 100 human years, right? And even gave birth, I assume. I'm like, we had only two reindeer here. Even giving birth at such an old age. So that was amazing there, you guys. What about you, though? 17 years old for this male. Yeah, like we just read, probably not going to last too much longer. It's already uh, past the threshold for age, so... The days are numbered with you, I, I, unfortunately, so. Anyways, we have a mechanic research. What is it? We have drink shops. That's good. Awesome that we have drink shops. What did we just unlock right there in terms of drink shops now? Uh, gulpy slush. Okay, so that's good. So now we're working on Pip Shot Water, which is actually the most popular water shop from the mainline Planet Zoo series that I have on the channel. So once we get the Pip Shot Water, we're probably going to have like 50 of those here on the shop, uh, here in the zoo, you guys. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, where are we going to place? Uh, so we have... Shopping there, food. What are we going to put here? Drink? It makes sense. I mean, same thing over here. We have food, shopping, and we can put drink over here. Many guests think the ticket prices are under pro Did you guys see that? Yeah, look at that. That's not a typo. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Well, don't mind if I heckin' raise it to, like, pff, at least 10. Let's, let's raise it to 10. And let's see. I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen that before, you guys. And the money's still going up, too. So the park is doing so well that even with underpriced tickets, which makes sense because I did all those, uh, like I said earlier, the staff uh, training and whatnot, you know, so they're a lot more expensive to maintain. I never even raised the prices after that. So it makes sense that we raised the price now. But are people still going to be like, wow? I'm like, they're saying the ticket price is great. Where does it say that the uh, the tickets are underpriced, though? Or is that just a thing that the, uh, the game tells me to say, hey, you should raise your uh, ticket prices? I don't know, but we're up to $10 now. I could probably easily go to 11 maybe 12 and it'll, I'll still be just fine. But uh, over here, let's definitely place down like a gulpy slush or maybe even a pip shot water or something like that here in the future. But for right now, let's just do gulpy slush just because that's all we have right now. So let's go over to guest facilities, drink stalls, and uh, gulpy slush. So I'm like, we are, I'm like, there's literally like slush all over the place, like physically all over the place right now. But you shouldn't be eating that. Uh, there you go. All right, so we got that place down now, so that's good. Go B. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't know why the staff do that. They just kind of 
Like when they spawn in, they, they just heckin' leave. <laughs> Anyways, let's get the Gulpy uh, slash logo. Put that over here so it will be... Oh yeah, I guess some other person came over here instead. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Gulpy slush. Let's get the uh, the sign. Put that about right here. How are we going to center that? I'm like, it's a little bit too big to fit there perfectly, so... Eh, about right there is fine. Let's get the thing for the street right there too, so that's good. Alright, that's awesome, you guys.